Well, little mortal, what are you waiting for? Must I hand you an engraved invitation? Get inside and do what you came here to do. a long time to send Sirius into the darkness. Allow me to savor this moment, little mortal. What possible interest could that be to you, little mortal? Let me guess. You're worried now that I will order my kin to destroy you. I assure you, a change in leadership can be a time of confusion. No harm will come to you or yours. For now. Kin do not die. Ceris has been banished to the darkness. Long ago, our clans were locked in war. Ceris, through treachery, banished my clan. Everyone but me. I accepted a blood oath to remain free, promising that my hand would never harm him. I remained true to my oath. I helped you enter the Pyramid. Nothing more. Indeed, the ignominy of a mortal sending Ceris to the darkness was most gratifying. My goal was revenge. I have no interest in your squabbles. Understand, little mortal, a kin's desire to spill mortal blood never ebbs, even if we don't always act upon it. I am what I am. If we meet again, I will smile as I take your life.
These louts better be ready for the battle of their miserable lives, because they haven't seen anything yet. I am proud of the guilds and what we have accomplished thus far, but it isn't over yet. I hope we can continue this unprecedented cooperation a while longer, for I fear our greatest challenge is yet to come. The Fighters Guild came to Cold Harbor for this express purpose, to stop the plane meld and save our world. No matter how many of us fall this day, we shall not fail. It all comes down to this, my friend. The final fanfare, the last hurrah. I don't know the meaning of the word fear, literally. I don't. But damn if the prospect of entering that gate doesn't twist my guts into knots. Oh, uh, every muscle must be properly stretched before we rush into battle. Wouldn't want to get a cramp when we make our heroic charge into death's chomping maw, would we? I promised to help you if you help me, and here I am. I do not regret what we did to liberate my clan, and I never will. Do you smell that? That's the smell of freedom, and it smells wonderful. I'm a brilliant artificer and a genius when it comes to Dwemer constructs. But I have to tell you, being surrounded by all these remarkable men and women, it's kind of humbling. I hope I live long enough to record this in my posterity journal. My brother and I might be a bit out of our league, but we'll find a way to help. We've explored enough dwarven ruins and dungeons to fill a hundred law books. How much different could Morlug Bar's labyrinth be? This is so exciting! I sat around in a drunken stupor for so long, it feels so good to be finally doing something! Of course, we are going up against Molag Ball. Uh, maybe I picked the wrong day to stop drinking. My people have been used and abused by the Lord of Brutality for long enough. Tonight, Molag Ball will feel the full ferocity of my mighty warriors. You were a worthy opponent in the orchard. I'm almost disappointed that we must now fight alongside instead of against each other. Still, the Crimson Matron has sent me to honor your agreement. And I shall not fail you. I never expected to be standing in Cold Harbor, helping command a force of elite mages. It's every little girl's dream come true. I'm just glad you're here. We never would have gotten this far without you. I've seen more than my fair share of years, many more. But in all that time, I've never contemplated something as foolhardy as this. We're about to face a Daedric Prince for the fate of our world, and I couldn't be more proud of all of you.
brought the key. We're ready to make the final push, but we're finished if we can't get inside. This is our last chance to save our world. It's all or nothing now. How odd that the Dramora aided us against her kin and Molag Ball. She must have had a powerful thirst for vengeance. Anyway, it appears as if we are once again in your debt. Thank you, my brave friend. Our forces have gathered and are ready to move. We need to find the planar vortex and end the plane meld once and for all. Well, son, then we still have a chance. We sent in a small force to cause a distraction. They probably won't survive, but they should keep the enemy busy while we get the rest of our troops inside. We need to make sure their sacrifice isn't in vain. We want you to get in there and open the labyrinth before we send in the entire force and reveal our numbers. Hanan and Gabrielle can brief you on the battle plans for the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild strike teams that will follow after you. The Mages Guild stands ready to do our part for this effort. I just wish I had as much confidence as Vanna Scalarion. We're facing some overwhelming odds here, you know. Molag Bal is using tactics similar to what we faced in the chasm. He set up a portal to move his troops around quickly. As you head in to open the labyrinth, we need you to close that portal. King Dinar insists that the initial strike be fast and precise. He doesn't want the entire army getting in your way or causing Molag Bal to respond in kind. You've proven yourself time and time again. We have faith that you can do this. The Fighters Guild is ready. We're prepared to follow you into the very heart of Molag Bal's lair. Of course, we've already sent in a small force, a distraction as it were. While they keep the enemy occupied, you slip in and open the labyrinth. As you clear a path, Fighters Guild soldiers will fall in behind you to hold the line. You need to be able to move fast. A large force would only draw attention to you and slow you down. Select one of our soldiers to take along if you like, but more than that would be more of a hindrance than a help. I wish you luck in there. Fight alongside you. That would be a true honor. But the Fighters Guild needs me right now. Someone has to command our forces. After you clear a path to the labyrinth, I shall lead the charge inside. And luck to you as well. Make them pay for all the pain and suffering they've caused. And for our friends and allies that have fallen along the way. You ever get the feeling you were meant to do something important? Me neither. But this, this could come close to that. We stopped the plane meld and saved the people of Tamriel? Who wouldn't want to be remembered for doing that? I've dreamed of this moment. Seriously, I always knew I'd end up fighting to save the world in Cold Harbor. I mean, you were a beautiful warrior with flowing red hair and an ample... Well, no offense. But otherwise, this is just like my dream. I was hoping you'd say that. Whatever happens in there, we won't go down without a fight. Go let the old man know that we're ready to do what has to be done. And I really did dream about this, you know? Have you selected a companion to accompany you? If you need more time to speak with your friends, please take it. This might be the last chance you get. When you're ready, I'll give you final instructions, and we can begin our final assault. Very well. Come with me, and I'll explain the exact details of your mission. Our forces are gathered, and the time has come to strike fast and strike hard. Time is not on our side. 
so we must make every moment count. Troops are already inside, fighting and holding ground, causing a distraction so that you can deal with Molag Baal's ability to call reinforcements. Darien the Brave joins you on your first assault. Allow his courage to be your beacon in the darkness. Close the reinforcement portal. That is your first priority. Gabrielle and her forces will join you then for the push to the labyrinth. Once the labyrinth is opened, you must make your way through Molag Baal's personal sanctum and find the portal to the planar vortex. That is your ultimate objective. If we are to end the plane meld, we must disrupt the planar vortex and cease its destructive storm. Take your brave companion and venture forth. Close the reinforcement portal so that our forces can wage war on the Daedric Prince. Then open the labyrinth and lead us to the planar vortex. Our destiny is in your hands. That portal destination? Doesn't seem too far. There is an entire army of Daedra between here and there, but it's not too far at all. Help me, please. This all seems familiar. I don't like it. I shouldn't know what a Daedric Prince's lair looks like. How can I recognize this place? But don't worry, I'm not going to turn into an Atronach or anything. I don't think. The Dark Lord's vile scheme fails today. I gave you my oath, and I honor such commitments. You sampled my power in the cliffs of failure. Use the power of my thorns as you see fit. Take this seed. Plant it in the body of any dead Dremora, as you did before. A zombie will rise to fight by your side. Together, we will bring the Lord of Scheme's plans down around him. What is it? Destination? Doesn't seem too far. There is an entire army of Daedra between here and there, but it's not too far at all. Listen, that's nice. Oh, 
Warlock Ball, the grateful prince that he is, has sent out a welcoming committee. This all seems familiar. Think something awful. Besides, we must be close to the portal by now.
darkness be only used for evil. We stand by each other. team, if I do say so myself. As I sensed that you sealed Moloch Baal's portal, I figured it was safe enough to follow you. Gabrielle has assembled a team of mages and scholars to aid you inside the labyrinth, as we need all of the fighters for the main assault. Now that we don't have to worry about overwhelming hordes of reinforcements, we're sending in the main assault force. While they keep Moloch Baal's minions busy, you need to navigate the labyrinth and find the portal to the plain air vortex. Of course not. Even I am not so foolish as to enter Molog Ball's inner sanctum myself. Gabrielle and her mages will accompany you inside. Oh, you'll know the source of our world's destruction when you see it. Just find a way through the labyrinth, and try not to let the deadly traps and horrible monsters kill you. Now go, and good luck. Hope, my friend. We're depending on you. This room is so big. I never expected the prince to be much of a reader. But all these books, imagine the wealth of knowledge they contain. I could spend years in here. If we didn't have more important matters to deal with, I mean. We can't get out of this room. The door on the other side won't budge, and we haven't been able to figure out the mechanism yet. Search around the room, I guess. Who knows, you might find something useful among the dark tomes and old fables about lusty Argonians. But I've never seen a mechanism like this before. It's rather fascinating. Listen to this, Kyrath. Reach out and touch a brazier to draw forth the fire and launch it in the direction of your choosing. Oh. This book. I think it references this device. If I'm reading this correctly, and of course I'm reading this correctly, then these flames can be used to power the mechanism that opens the gate. Frankly, the workmanship is stunning. I'm jealous. Simply touch the Daedric fire. In a short time, the power of the flame will transfer to you, much like any conjuration spell. It can then be launched in any direction. Get as close as you can and throw the fire into the four open tubes. <laughs> 